So Richie, um, we've just been speaking to the guys, really top signings that you, you've got there. Um, you must be delighted to get them on board. Are you maybe pinching yourself a wee bit as well? Really pleased to get them. Yeah, it's uh, the two big catches for us. Obviously Kevin with his experience down south. He's played a lot, a lot of football over the last 10, 15 years. So he's a, he's a real, real catch for us. And he really wants to come here as well. So we're delighted to have him on board. The young players can learn from him as well. And he, he's been great pre-season and all the games. He's improved every game. He's probably one of the fittest players we have at the moment. So yeah, it, it's great for us. And then obviously Billy as well. He wasn't getting much of a look in down at heart, so we noticed that we had a, a chat room up from the first conversation. I knew I wanted him because he really wanted to come as well. He wants to get his head down and, and go back playing football. And he's a really exciting player to watch. You know, outside he can come inside, he scores goals, so he's going to be a big player for us this season. It seems to be a tradition with Cardiff this almost of taking players who may be looking for that chance again and then giving them that chance and opportunity to, to flourish again. Yeah, I think. They know to get looked after when they come up to Inverness as well. That's what we do. We look after players. We uh, we won't tell them any lies just to get them up. He knows he's going to be in for a battle. The two of them are going to be in for a battle to get to get into the starting eleven. They know the quality that we have, but they're willing to come up and, and battle away. And not, they haven't come up to, to sit on the bench. Both have told me that, which is great. Is, is what I want to hear. And it's a great it's a great pull for the club to get players like that. What are they going to bring to the team? They're both kind of, if you look at their, their own careers so far, they're kind of at different stages, if you like, and in terms of age as well. What what are they going to take to embrace Caledonian with this one? Obviously, Kevin, experience straight away jumps out. His composure on the ball is excellent. He can play across all areas at the back as well, so he's versatile. He's looking really good, he's looking really fit. And obviously, we've got a few young players as well, young defenders who can learn from him as well. And Obviously Billy, he's a very, very exciting player, he's hungry, his work, work rate is unbelievable as well, he's up and down, he's in and out, so his attitude is spot on so far, he's, he's a quiet lad as well, he just wants to come up and play football and we're delighted to have him. Kevin would have had to take uh, a, probably a hefty drop in the pay packet to come up, um, you would imagine anyway. Um, what kind of signal do you think that sends out that he, I mean he was saying himself, you know, he's come up here for the footballing reasons, that's why he's here. And it's not all about the money at the end of the day. Exactly, exactly. He raced the Scottish Premiership very, very highly. It was Kevin that contacted us about coming up so we didn't have to chase him so straight away. I knew he was the right player for us and it's not about money for Kevin. Kevin's very, very low maintenance. He just wants to go and play football for as long as he can. And watching him over the last week, I believe he's got seasons and seasons left in him. Not only this season, yes, he's only been offered a one-year deal, but we'll, we'll be can get through Christmas time and stuff like that, looking really fit, we we'll are looking to sign him on again. And he was saying as well, I mean, it, it, it's a slightly off the pitch side of things, but he was talking about his family, getting them settled. That seems to be quite a, a theme here at Cali Thistle as well. You know, it's not guys that come and go, obviously people do change throughout the season, but you have a lot of people here with perhaps a bit more experience, you know, um, in terms of playing, who like to come up, stay in the area, it's a great area and they want to put down roots here and be a real part of the team going forward as well. Yes, that's what you want. You don't want players or using Inverness as a stepping stone to move on. You want players coming up and being dedicated to the place, not travelling up and down the A9 every few days to go back and see their family and, and so forth. So he's going to operate his family, bring them all up and, and that's a great pull. And, and that's what we uh, that's what we want in every player that comes up. We want them to come here, move here and not be travelling up and down, dedicate themselves to the football club, dedicate themselves to Inverness City. And, I believe they can be very, very successful players for us. How close do you feel you are to being the finished article in terms of players? I don't know if we'll ever be the finished article, to be fair. You know, it's when you think you're the finished article, then you get bit in the, in the backside. So we're looking to bring in another another two players and I might try and push for, for another one on top of that as well if I can. So we're, we're a bit light at the moment in terms of bodies, so definitely at least two more players in there, but we're looking for quality. You. There, there'll be no rush, we'll take our time, we're, we're in there now at the moment, we'll be in there all evening, same tomorrow, going over players, going over players, make sure they're the right players for us, make sure they're the right personality for the football club. So I was going to say, you're um, saying might push for uh, another couple, but is that dependent on, um, is the, the finance being settled from the, the Euros yet? I don't know about that, no not to do with me. Um, any trials soon immediately though? No, no trialists at the moment, no, we, um, I won't want to bring a lot of trialists in either, 
I want to keep a tight, a tight knit group in the dressing room. The players that are coming up, I'll be, I'll be looking to sign. Do you feel that you can get in that sort of way of, of sometimes if you take someone up, you, you maybe it's Italy, you know, don't know very much about them. You, you're giving yourself that, that window, whereas you know if you've already done the groundwork, you know, then it, it makes it easy to just complete that process. Sign up. Exactly. We try list. We don't want two or three coming in every week, sort of interrupting what we're doing, maybe disrupting what we're doing as well. We have a tight dressing room, we're going to keep it that way. And so the trialist bit doesn't work for me, and that's not how we will be going down. You got to your first competitive match um, at Cowden Beef <coughs> on Saturday coming up. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, it's going to be great. So early to get going, we're only back two weeks, so obviously we have a lot, a lot of respect for Cowden Beef. They did, they did a good good win against Motherwell pre season as well, though it is only pre season, so we'll be going there with giving up. Lots of respect. They've got a couple of quality players that can cause us problems as well, so our attitudes will have to be spot on. But we're excited about it. We've scored lots of goals, we've scored lots of good goals as well pre season. The boys are looking really, really sharp today as well, so we can't wait to get going. An exciting time for you and for the club, just on the edge of a brand new season, brand new manager. How important is it to get off to a positive start in this game? Of course, of course, you want to get a positive start even pre season games. You know, I've never played a friendly in my life or a bounce game. Everything is serious. You want to win in everything you do, and we want to go on a really good cup run as well. And this is a huge game for us. But there's no panic either. You know, there's no panic. You need a bit of luck on the way. You need to stay injury free. So I'm really looking forward to getting going. But it's going to be a long season ahead. You said about being injury free. You mean just speaking to him towards the end of last season? I mean, Adam Dora just said that you just couldn't wait for the, the time when he'd be, you know, back going again. Yeah, he, he's looking great, Aaron. Is he's looking really fit, really sharp. He's probably a couple of weeks behind the rest of the lads just because we're not pushing him. We've, we've had to get, keep the, the reins on him. He's been wanting to be involved in the last couple of games, but we've said no, we want to take care of him. We're looking at Aaron, not for, not for next month, we're looking for Aaron for the next two years, three years, four years. and He's going to be like a new sign up for us and he's very excited. He's looking really good and I can't wait to get him going in the games. Have you got any other team news concerns? No, not at all. Josh Meekins has a little knock, a little bit of bruise and he hit in a tackle um, last week, so we'll monitor him, but there's no serious injuries at the moment.